It's been a six-year dream to impact, to, to build something that will impact people's lives. Uh, because what I'm trying to teach the kids through this whole experience is how to give up themselves to others. And uh, they went from hating school to uh, being excited and couldn't wait to get to school. So the project became more, to me, about building the students and less about the vehicles. Uh, it started out asking the kids, how can we build affordable transportation using only simple hand tools? It was fun just to watch the kids come up with ideas and then we would have to fabricate and, and build their ideas. We started out uh, uh, just using some very basic lawnmower and components. We try to incorporate as many Toyota parts as possible because when we send these things overseas, we also need them to be repairable because if something breaks down on it, they need to have the part in country to repair their car. So it went more away from just building a vehicle to making sure that we're building a reliable vehicle. They're made to be used by, by the people to drill wells, to plow fields, to go up and, and be an ambulance. Part of my curriculum is biomedical engineering. Uh, we had uh, uh, Mr. Adam Williams from Next Step Prosthetics uh, come in, but he knew what we were doing with the utility vehicles, and he came in and he showed the students a $60,000 leg. He says, this is what we put on most of our patients. can't afford a two or three thousand dollar leg let alone a sixty thousand dollar leg so here these people have no hope of uh, being viable contributors to their society uh, end up being beggars or just whatever they can do to, to survive and so at that point I challenged my students let's create an affordable prosthetic leg and we started hunting around the shop to see what can we use for a knee joint and we came across a motor mount off of a 1989 Toyota Corolla because we had that in the back. It's a, it was a salvage car to build one of the, the utility vehicles out of. We looked at that, we noticed it had some rubber movement to it. it. It could pivot like a hinge. So we brought the motor mount into the classroom and I challenged them to make both the knee and ankle joint out of that particular part. And the kids put it together and it was just amazing that uh, they were able to create a leg using those parts and it was functional. It worked. We took it to uh, Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams was very impressed. He said, you built something that looks like it's going to work. He put it on one of the amputees there in Birmingham and was able to walk around on it. And last year he actually took it and fit it on one of the amputees here in Honduras. Again, this year I challenged the students, take this leg, make it lighter, make it more functional. And the kids came up with some neat ideas about putting a crutch in for the tibia, fibia bone. That way it could be put on a child and it could grow with the child. And uh, we were able to create this leg for $100, $150.